To the What the Fuego Artist Highlight Show uh, Week 2 This is your host Fuego It's your host Egypt And we are uh, here Discussing everything Like why the hell the Orlando Magic Is about to beat Dumbass Miami right now um, Ah man I don't know what to tell you Fuego It's terrible but anyway Y'all already know You know, Check out the, the website Is where you can find uh, all the shows, that's FuegoBeast.com, and uh, check out the shows, uh, we do this show every Friday, you can expect another episode of the Artist Highlight Show, so um, we'll have multiple artists on here, last week we had La Fin Absolute Dumont, uh, this week we're featuring uh, Ricky J, pop artist from uh, North Carolina, so uh, towards uh, later on in the show you will definitely hear from Ricky J, and we're also featuring his video on FuegoBeast.com. Um, yo, we have, of course, a bunch of affiliates that we rock with. Uh, definitely got a shout out for Block, Super564.com. Got to check them boys out for the sci-fi. Um, JSNLOnline.com. You got to check them out for the clothing. Uh, they got um, T-shirts. They got glasses. They got watches. Everything. And more, more to come. Very I want soon. one. Yeah, and he wants one. Jesse, this is like the fifth time that Egypt's saying this show. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get that for uh, Egypt, for real. And, um, yo, we also, just to let you know, get 15% off if you log into jsnlonline.com and you can use the promo code Fuego Beach Radio, Zombie Day, or Super 564. So either one of those three you could definitely use. That's what's up. I'm about to go in there right now and, and do that shit. <laughs> and get your fifteen percent off. You know, if I can't if I can't get it for free, I get fifteen percent off. At I know, least. right? Shit. I know, right? That's what's up, man. But uh, yo, man, we uh definitely look forward to hearing from Ricky J, and uh, in a few um, well, we got a couple of things to talk about. Um, but yo, I mean, in general, we, me and Egypt dealing with this snow out here, which was nothing for real. But hey, oh, they, we, they're calling it the. Uh, Snow Quester. Have now, you been listening to the to the news uh, today? No, but go ahead. Yeah, so you know, I don't know who's been paying attention or not, but uh, you know, the one of the headlines in the news as of late is the whole sequester thing going on in Congress and yada yada yada. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, so the fact that today we got dumped on, you know, we got smashed with the snow today. So, a couple of the news stations have been referring to the event as. The Snow Quester. Yes, yes, and that's where I'm sorry I choked you. Shit, everybody has been talking about that. And I, I was seeing if you was on the same page, but we was talking about that a little bit at work today. Like, yo, why would you do that? Why would you? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> we've been talking about that a little bit, and um, I'm tired of this. Yo, my bad, my bad, yo. I shouldn't even be watching this shit right now. But anyway, we were talking about that, um, and I was like, wow, I didn't even know that because I don't pay attention to politics like that. You know what I mean? So I I truly didn't even um, focus on that. Then when I seen that and people were telling me, I was like, wow, that's that's a hell of a jab. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. But You know, everyone wants to put their little, you know, label on things, their little spin on things to make it catchy. And, you know. How you going to have a storm that's catchy? Like how we how we now we we now promotion on that joint man we go <laughs> we promote storms I still, like I still shit. don't understand why they name hurricanes. I don't know how they name hurricanes. That's what I want would like to know. Like how do you name hurricanes? Like you just say. I mean I want to name. I mean what about like they always say like Katrina. There was uh, what, what was the last Sandy, one? Sandy. Sandy was, yeah. Um, that Hugo. So when is it gonna be like Juan Pablo or? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like just click, like straight up. When is it gonna be something like that? Or let, let's get some, let's get some hood people. You know what I'm saying? Like like Roscoe. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> or something like that. Like you know, Murdoch. <laughs> I 
I don't know. How, I want to know. How did they come up with this, man? I think they just uh, pull a name out of the hat and they say, uh, you know what? Let's just go. Or they, I think they might go in alphabetical order. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I, I have no know. idea, man, because that's crazy. But regardless of the matter, we got dumped on today, man. It came down pretty hard, man. It was uh, yo. The streets wasn't really that bad at all, man. Like for real. Like I can't even lie. I, when we got off at noon, I was like, oh, I'm out. I'm not even gonna question it. I'm just out. I was gonna leave anyway. Well, they gave us a number to call. They said you wake up Wednesday morning, call this number. If it tells you to stay home, stay home. If it tells you to come, then bring you behind. Yeah. Yeah, pretty so much. They, so they, yeah, that's that's what's up, man. And I'm telling you, man, it's it's one of those things that, like, I mean, I'm I was amped because I was like, cool, because I, you know, I'm, I work from home tomorrow anyway. So I was like, I will not give up my day tomorrow for today. I'm going to run through the storm just to save face. I'm like, y'all, I'm here, yeah. even if we leave in ten minutes. But I truly thought it was over. I didn't think they said, oh, two inches every two hours and all that. I kind of thought that was outrageous. I didn't really think it was going to be that bad because it didn't feel it, it was cold, but it didn't feel that cold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So well, I enjoyed my day off. So oh yo, I slept yo from three and I woke up at six fifty nine. That was fantastic. That's why I said I have to treat myself with some beer yeah, <laughs> tonight. Because gotta get I, some rest, man. Yeah, I know. That was crazy. I didn't even mean to fall asleep, yo. I had dreams about home, my homeboy. Matter of fact, shout out to Salgado. Yo, it was crazy. He turned into a dog, started fighting another dog, then told what? me to get in and get a chair. It was crazy, yo. I don't know. I, I don't know what happened, yo. Like, really, it was wild. Like, he was at the door in Carriage Mill. What? Like, I opened that door. Son, I have dreams about that house every This man like, said Carriage time. Mill. He took it back to... Son, I, I, had, I have dreams about that place. Like, I still live there all the time, yo. With the... That's I mean, crazy. all the time, yo. I'm, I'm there... You know, my mom's room and all that. Like, it's the same way. And it's so wild, man. And, I and I mean, dude came to the door. I was like, oh, that's what's up. You know, talking to him. I ain't seen you in a minute. It was kind of wild, man. Well, I hope he's doing well, man. I haven't heard from Salgado in a minute. Yep. Yep. I haven't heard from that dude. I heard, you know, I talked to his cousin. You know, matter of fact, shout out to my man. Over there, holding it down in the Bronx. Uh, Salgado doing it over there. I heard he's w wifed up now, so you ain't going to hear from that dude. That's probably what <laughs> it is, man. You ain't going to hear from that dude. That's what's up, man. But, I mean, I'm glad. That's all I make sure do straight. That's all that matters right there. Right, right, You know right, what I'm right. saying? And, of course, like I told uh, you before, and Egypt told y'all before, that when you hear in the background beats, it comes from various sources on the team. It comes from Egypt. Jab beats, uh, um, well, I was about to call him Juan beats, Juan, <laughs> Juan G, and uh, me Fuego, you'll hear some crazy little, crazy little tunes that we got in the back, but it's hot, so any genre, holla at us, we'll get it straight, you know what I'm saying, and um, let us know what's up, and also, you know, if you guys have any hot music, like we said, just submit it, you know, even if you have beats, you want to just submit your beat, you know what I mean, you could just do that. And the same way you submit your regular um um track, you know, full tracks, just go to FuegoBeats.com and go to the Submit the Music page, man. And we'll definitely take a listen and um get you all straight. So that's what's up, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to this show, though, right here. Well, right now, we're going to go to some music, commercials, all of that, and we'll be back. <laughs>
Facebook.com, YouTube, Mr. Fuego Beats. Hundred miles is gunning, real niggas is dumping, fake niggas is fronting. We warned y'all, we coming, we coming. Say hello to the Fuego team. One prick could turn this motherfucker to a murder scene. Hundred miles is gunning, real niggas is dumping, fake niggas is fronting. We warned y'all, we coming, we coming. Say hello to the Fuego team. One prick could turn this motherfucker to a murder scene. Murder, murder is service. The takeover's diverted. The cash money's the profit. These whack rappers just stop it. I'm Jay Lynn in that rocket. I told y'all, niggas, I'm swinging off that object. I warned y'all, niggas, we coming, huh? Hundred miles of gunning, huh? Looking at your lineup, y'all looking like y'all punting. I knew it. Watch me receive it as I take it to another level. Battle with the devil while pushing on this fucking pedal. Asking God for balance. While gearing up for success No right. whole sign of brutality And know we are the best nah. It's not even a test I'm putting haters to rest nah. They still playing checkers I'm showing off my test nah. Ain't nothing left to confess I'm in the lab like Dex nah. Now watch me as I flex I'm running out of my breath nah. Let it breathe for a second Fuck rap I'll overachieve in a second Live life till I'm underground like music Don't get mad, it's just me Get used to it Hundred miles is gunning Real niggas is dumping Fake niggas is fronting We warned y'all, we coming, we coming Say hello to the Fuego team One prick could turn this motherfucker to a murder scene Hundred miles is gunning Real niggas is dumping Fake niggas is fronting We warned y'all, we coming, we coming Say hello to the Fuego team One prick to turn this motherfucker to a murder scene Hundred miles and gunning, stacking money to the ceiling Money making murder scheme, I'm about to make it killing I'm a cheat, what I look like politicking with these pilgrims Niggas act like bitches cause they always catching feelings Now you feeling like a superhero, go ahead and talk shit Superman today, tomorrow you'll be Clark Kent Straight cats don't get this shit tangled Gunslinging cowboys and make you levitate Chris Angel Broke niggas always stunting like they on to something Just to gain a little respect, you'll never get it frontin' Rappers peace like they the future, I'm like Stevie Wonder Yeah, I hear a lot of talk, but I ain't seeing nothing. I hear you singing to the fans cause they traumatized Invite my Nina to the meeting, y'all can harmonize Lying, talking about you a gangster, apologize None of these rappers is hard, man, they sodomized Must be the way I make it happen, make a nigga sap it Shots fired in the booth, I'm going trigger happy Hundred miles is gunning, real niggas is dumping Fake niggas is fronting, we warned y'all, we coming, we coming Say hello to the Fuego team One prick could turn this motherfucker to a murder scene Hundred miles is gunning, real niggas is dumping Fake niggas is fronting, we warned y'all, we coming, we coming Say hello to the Fuego team One prick could turn this motherfucker to a murder scene Say hello, hello, now that's how it's supposed to go right. Niggas need to praise me like I wanna honor them Salute to the real, but these fakes all camera toe Bitchin' from afar, but your side got the antidote Going in Hannibal, right. standing on the pedestal right. Yelling, fuck y'all, I'ma do what I gotta do yes. Switching up my pace, I'm so ahead of my race They can't see me like Ray, but all I see me is pay So I don't give it a damn it's long family okay with a couple million dollars a nice house on the lake now tell them i'm on the way coming off the dome they say i'm in the way i say i'm at home i'm so used to that hating right that's just satan waiting right waiting to lose my patience i'd rather go on vacation True. kicking in on the island go. listen to beats and rhyming corona line and i'm dining with js and now i'm styling with shades feeling like tyler Corrado working my way up it's nothing but a, a push up now this is my shit i raise up honey man Gunning, real niggas is dumping, fake niggas is fronting. We warned y'all, we coming, we coming. Say hello to the Fuego team. One prick could turn this motherfucker to a murder scene. Hundred miles of gunning, real niggas is dumping, fake niggas is fronting. We warned y'all, we coming, we coming. Say hello to the Fuego team. One prick could turn this motherfucker to a murder scene.
Leave it 
<laughs> Yo. Yo, welcome back to the What the Fuego Artist Highlight Show with Egypt <laughs> laughing. And it's uh, we should name this the What the Fuego Sniffing Contest because <laughs> this dude... <laughs> <laughs> was going out and don't worry about yo the six seconds joint man because uh i could take it out regardless we've been actually recording since we got these mics new mics uh well egypt has a new mic so it sounds a lot better you know what i mean it's not too much of the <sighs> let me stop <laughs> uh, well, let, me, let me let me let me explain it's a new mic is not appropriate it's not the right mic man, but it's better me. mic than the one i had before so yeah so whatever it's 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 doing the job that's all yeah. uh Yo, but we're laughing over here about multiple things. <laughs> and um, <laughs> one thing that you were talking about earlier, something that happened with Kanye West that I'm not paying. You know, I don't pay attention. So, y'all, they got to fill me in, yo. Egypt and, and, and the rest, fill me in. What's going on? So, what, what's going on with Kanye? What, what meltdown is this dude having now? So, we all know Kanye has to have his yearly, Cry. you know, you know, he has to throw his yearly fits, okay? <laughs> And uh, this year, it has something to do with the Grammys. So, look, it's kind of late. You know what I mean? The Grammys went down a couple of weeks ago. We all know that. But uh, apparently, this dude, Kanye West, was in London. And, uh, you know, you know he was, he was doing a concert, a show, what have you. And between songs, he had, like, this little rant. It was, it's on YouTube if you want to check it out. And he's, he just goes in. On, on a bunch of things. He goes in on the on the Academy. He goes in on Justin Timberlake. Kind of goes in on Jay-Z. Not 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 really going in on Jay-Z, but he did kind of, you know, throw a couple of shots here and there, right? So basically what it was, man, uh, let me preface this first by saying this dude Kanye West won three Grammys this year. Okay, he won three Grammys. I just nominated he won three Grammys. So... Um, he wasn't happy with the fact that he wasn't nominated for certain categories. Okay, I don't know. I think it was like record of the year. So I I don't know. Okay, he wasn't happy with the with the with the academy for various reasons. So he started talking reckless, talking about the Grammys can you know can suck my this and blah blah blah, you know. Um, and Justin Timberlake recently released, you know, um. It's a song called Sue and Tie, and it's featuring Jay-Z. So Kanye West was talking, you know, talking talking trash about that, talking about, oh, I'm not messing with that Sue and Tie stuff. I got love for Hove, because Ho Jay-Z is on is on the is on the track. It's featured featuring Jay-Z. So it's like I got love for Hove, but I'm not messing with that Sue and Tie stuff. The Grammys can suck my this, uh, yada yada yada. So I don't understand, man. Like is this uh, Fuego? Like, what's? I don't understand what's going on here. Like, can you can attention? You explain? That's Att all it is, yo. Is attention? I'm telling you, like, that's that's what, and, and it's so obvious too. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not like, and, and this is what I was saying, yo. So many people took the script out of like cats like Dennis Rodman and Charlie Sheen, and these dudes really had something wrong. <laughs> this dude is just attention. I guess you could call it an attention whore. That's why he's with the person who he's with because that's yes. the biggest one. Yes. She's the biggest one out there. And that's all it is. Like that's that's what that's why this dude is just a clown. If you heard me when I was uh, on with uh John and Coop way back when when he did that to Taylor Swift, I went off. I went off on that because that that dude is just about attention. It's obvious. I mean, I know nah, we're giving it to him right now. I, I don't think I don't think it's attention, man. For real? I think the guy's just throwing a fit, man, because he didn't get his way. First off, I gotta say, look, as when it comes to you know being a producer, Kanye West is very talented. I like his music, but the guy throws fits every time he doesn't get what he wants, yo. Okay, he won three Grammy awards. Okay, this this you know a couple of weeks ago he got three Grammy awards. Okay, and I'm reading up on the situation, and the impression that I'm getting is that he's throwing this fit is because. You know, he didn't get nominated for the categories that he wanted to get nominated for. I don't remember exactly what they were, okay? But I think that's basically what it comes down to, you know? That he threw I a fit. Yeah, the reason he threw this fit, and he's like bitching and moaning, excuse my language, 
But the reason he's doing that is because he didn't get what, you know, he didn't, things didn't happen the way he wanted it to happen. Just like the joint that happened a couple of years back, a couple of years back, a couple of years ago with Taylor Swift, you know, Beyonce didn't win, you know, whatever that award was. So he got on stage and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Everyone knows the story, right? It's because he didn't get his way. He's a grown man, right? And he's acting like a little kid, man. I think that's what it's not about attention, man. It's about not getting what you want. He even went in about like businesses and, you know, you know, co commercial people and how, you know, businesses contact him, you know, for commercial, uh, um, you know, opportunities, this, this and that. And he was talking about, man, F this and F that. I'm not about the commercial stuff, blah, blah, blah. And like Fuego said, son, who are you dating right now? Who are you dating right now? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, my, my biggest thing is that, yes, I truly believe that it, it was about attention. And also he was p pulling a fit because these people, especially these, you know, the, the ones that's like mega stars, they always put, you know, pit these little bitch fits. I mean, no. And, and I got respect for cats like Jay-Z. But remember, I don't know if you remember when he got mad and he had specialized chickens like that was breeding in Mexico flown to London so he can get some wings like that serious like that's ridiculous dude nah you know you I mean you come on now like that's and 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 that made headlines and all that stuff but Kanye is known for shit like this every it really all these stars man are known for for doing their little tantrums and stuff like that yeah, man. but lately Even it's been it's him and his and his girl like they always and that's why it infuriates me because the only reason, like, you know, he's not, he, I mean, he, he's a good musician. Like, I take nothing away from that. But the only reason some of these people are relevant, especially his other half, is because there's nothing but crying and attention shit. It's not on, no, no talent was with her at all. Well, at if you look at the Ray J video. Talent. But anyway, <laughs> there's, this dude is like, man, it's, it's over. Like, it's to the point that, a lot of people that used to be his fans that I hear from are like, man, he's getting, he's getting on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah. you know, some people can't put that fine line between, you know what, you're a jackass, but you know what? You got some hot music. They'll just say you're a jackass. I ain't rocking with you. Right. You or know. they might say, you know, they might even discredit your music because yep. you're showing your ass. Because then you start, if you don't like somebody, you start to, you start to, um, start to look at things like pinpoint things a little bit more. When you start to not like somebody, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys ever dated even somebody or, or had a friend that was getting on your nerves and you start to be like, you know what? That dude's mold gets on my goddamn nerves. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't rocking with that. His mold. That, don't that just piss you off? Look at how the dude, look, look how he sniffs. Let me stop messing with you. Oh, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'll just mess with you. But yo, I mean, uh, be real. You know what I'm saying? We used to, you know, we, we start to view people, like look at it a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying when when that happens, but I mean, yo, that that's annoying. You know what I mean? But it is annoying, man. Let, let think, us know what I, you I think. I think I read somewhere that he even said, what? you know, after president, because if you remember, yeah, yeah, again, when 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 the stuff went down with uh, Taylor Swift a couple of years ago, yeah. uh, the president has something to say about it, and if I recall correctly, you know, he referred to Kanye as a jackass. So when <laughs> Kanye went on his rant, this recent one that I'm talking about now. You know, he said, F the president. I'm not, you know, don't quote me, but in so many words, he said, F the president. I don't give a F what the president says, yada, yada, yada. He's throwing a fit, man. It's like, yo, you a grown man. Why are you showing your ass? Okay, you didn't get nominated. And he didn't even go to the Grammy Awards because, you know, like I said, the impression I'm getting is that he didn't, he didn't get nominated for the categories that he wanted to get nominated, even though he won three. He didn't get nominated for certain ones that he wanted to get nominated for, so he didn't go. You know what I mean? He's just throwing a fit. He's so, throwing a fit so like that, a little that kid. That shows you that you're not even grateful any, anymore. Well, no. The, it's like, me. yo, it, like a little kid, you know, throwing a fit because he didn't get that extra cookie after dinner. You know? Yeah. And he already had one, but he wanted two. Well, no, he already had several. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but he didn't get the number or or what he wanted. You said, you know what? We got chocolate chip and we got Oreo. I'm gonna give you chocolate chip, but he want Oreo. Right. So it's like to me, it's like then you ain't getting shit. Like I wish they could do that. <laughs> like you ain't getting nothing. Then. You won't cry next time. You won't get nothing. Oh, okay, wow. and shout out to my man Trey Sykes. I just want to know how you eat pasta and drink Ciroc at the same time. We have to talk about that uh, 1989 TRE. 
We got to talk about that. Sorry. We'll go back to Kanye, but I just seen that on Facebook. You said drink Ciroc and eat pasta. At yes, the same time. and watching Spider Man. What a good night. <laughs> but anyway, yo, what we're gonna do is go to some more tracks, and we will be back. You, Big Bird, Big North Carolina, stand up. Bull City, throw your horns up. And yo, Quintus McDonald, I told you I got you. Word to my baby mama Virginia. Word to my baby mama Virginia. Word to my baby mama Virginia. I'ma stay reppin' Bull City, North Carolina. Bull City, North Carolina. Bull City, North Carolina. Word to my baby mama Virginia. I'ma stay reppin' Bull City, North Carolina. You know what my team would do to you. Straight out of MacDougal, we take beef and hand it right back to you. A day a homie mug gets spilled. Sorta of like King Cousin, noodles all over the window shell. We pump XO, yappers up us and downers. And I also got a word of advice for arrogant out of towners. Come through acting cocky, throwing your cash up. How send one of my hood rat chickens that set your ass up. Bull City riders, trap house providers, Swiss cheese and any stupid that wanna try us. No joke, Columbia neck your throat. Hit your ass up with rifles, biggest honor from different strokes in. Bull City, North Carolina. Bull City, North Carolina. Word to my baby mama Virginia. I'ma stay rapping Bull City, North Carolina. I got Gurks and Brad Town of MacDougal that give crucial for some pills. Plus, give you some single parent unemployed, depressed. That self medicate with white girl, girl, success. Seven children and the baby fathers come and go. But the moms was a J.O. What do you expect? I saw them little short and no warning. Pay 50, you'll get kicked. Me and my gang about to set up super shop and trap. Blood, money, outcome can be vital. Dangerous situation, but a survival. Somebody made the spot hot. I run the business. Why y'all little homies busting all these gunshots? Out in Bull City, North Carolina. Bull City, North Carolina. Word to my baby mama, but you. I'ma stay rapping Bull City, North Carolina. Call bread back in VA, cause I fear the way things going. It's about to be a drought down here. I'll be in Norfolk for the day turns night. If the rock is official and price is on the truck, fuel is right. Hit 85 North and exit on the 58. Merge on the Interstate 64. Homie, I'm about to get straight. I'm the tired water, that's no doubt. I'm about to re up hit 85 to Bull City in cash. North Kakalaka showed a homie love. Time to clean up my act and make a transition to a corporate thug. Shout out to Sean at Rocky Mount Rally in Kingston. Greensboro, Fayetteville, High Point, New Bern, and Winston. And Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Bull City, North Carolina. Word to my baby mama. Bitch. I'ma stay rapping. Bull City, North Carolina.
Mr. Fuego Beats. What's going on, people? We are back on With the Fuego on Fuego Beats Radio. I'm your host, Egypt. I'm on the line with host Fuego. Yo. What's going on, man? Everything. Again, I always say that, though, and it is everything, always. Everything is going on, man. We going we going in on a few things today, man. Yep. One of which is the, uh, the Kanye rant referring to the Grammys Bitch that went down it. not too long ago. Yep. Yeah, yeah, man. So, uh, you were telling yeah, me about the reason that he basically Timberlake and uh, Jay Z was gonna go on tour, and you felt that maybe he was a little that might be it. Cry baby that, about that. It's a they that might be it. And, and again, this is just what I'm reading on the internet, so it may or may not be true. But uh, apparently, Jay Z and Justin Timberlake. For those that don't know, Justin Timberlake is is. Um, he he's doing a comeback. He's you know getting back in the studio, doing the music thing. He's been doing the movies for for a while, so he decided to get back into the studio, and he's coming out with an album not too long from now. And he recently released his first single on that album called Suit and Tie, and uh, Kanye expressed his uh, dissatisfaction <laughs> for the song, and. Uh, yeah, man. So apparently Jay Z and Justin Timberlake are going on tour this summer. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Kanye is is part of that tour. Probably not. You know, if he's talking talking trash about it, he's probably not going to be part. So maybe that's what it is, man. Maybe he's mad that he's you know you know in, in addition to the, the fact that he he didn't get the love that he felt was deserved from the Grammys. Maybe he's even, you know, mad at the at the fact that he's he's not on tour with with Jay Z and, and Justin Timberlake. I don't know, man. What do you think, Fuego? 
I think he's a bitch sometimes. <laughs> that's all. I mean, straight up. I just think that's what it is. I'm sorry to say that. Whatever. No. You know what I mean? I, I tell him the same thing. You're doing a, you having a bitch fit, and that's not cool. Like, on the real bitch, you know, if they didn't invite you, they didn't invite you. You know what I'm saying? They didn't say hi to you. There's no reason you need to cry. They didn't say hi to me, or, you know, they didn't include me. Yo, maybe you didn't fit on what they're doing. You just didn't fit, or, you know, whatever the case is. I just, I just know that, you know, men should be men. Leave and no, not to disrespect women, but that's just a known uh, female track. Track, female characteristic is to make big things out of stuff like that. You know what I mean? Women get mad. You know, my wife gets mad because we didn't get invited to a certain place. I'd be like, cool, I could sit down and eat uh, eat my beer, eat my pizza, and drink beer. <laughs> so we cool with that. We don't cry and go on you know crazy rants and uh. Let me stop before I, I insult a lot of people. So I'm gonna stop with that. But we don't we don't do that. We don't do that as men. That's not really cool. You well, know, maybe he's general. doing it for publicity, man. That's I what it, that's the, what the, I the, think the, it is. Like I said, attention. That's that's yeah, yeah. Maybe you know, to that. like like the stuff that that went down with him and uh, what's his name, uh, Fifty Cent, not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, right? It, you know, coincidentally, yep. all that stuff went down right before both of them have had albums to drop. Exactly, and that's what that what gets me to this. And we talked about this. Now I'm not sure if uh, either of you, if, if it was me and you or me and Prophet, but we talked about the fact that that's what people do. And sometimes, and and we talked offline about this. Whoever I spoke to, um, but basically we were talking about the fact that sometimes I, I knew two artists around DMV area when I first moved out here. They had a beef. So I'm thinking it's beef, what I remember real beef being like, you know what I mean? Big E, Tupac, that sort of stuff. They was in the studio when I went in there together. Like, yo, yo, that was hot. Then dude would hop in there and do a diss track. You know what I'm saying? But they would kind of formulate, the two teams would formulate this plan so both of them could shine. They would actually plan out this beef. And it semi-worked as far as on, in the local uh, area. I'm like, yo, that's what most people do. <laughs> that's what it is because like you said you know it's a coincidence that it's just right before each one of them got something going on so i pretty much yo i hit you up hey yo egypt you know what i'm saying you got hot lyrics i'm gonna come at you yo it don't have to be like this is what i'm gonna say but i'm like yo you know i'm gonna come at you and you be like yo come at me i'll come back at you okay we're both going to the session or yeah. i'm gonna do my thing on my side and then you just on some bad you know battling like you know what i mean it could, it's just a friendly battle but what all, we all think is, oh, they about to go to the streets or they about to beat. Man. You know what I mean? We think that as the uh, view, you know, listeners and all that. So, but that's one of the signature things of hip hop is yeah. that battle. Yeah, but certain people like uh, Drake don't do that anymore, and that's why. Well, yeah, it's I, my uh, nerves, but that's what he, it should he be. He said that. He said that, but he what did. he said and what he did are two different things because Common yes, came sir. at him. Yes, sir. you know what I mean, and ripped him to shreds. I, I thank you. Okay, I don't I was know. Just hoping, <laughs> I don't I was know if the end listeners the show right heard. now. If you if you said that, if you mentioned, if you said Drake, anything positive about that between him, common. I mean, he had Drake had his thing, you know, did his thing. Son, but nah, 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 come nah, on nah, now, yo, this dude. No, I don't come. care. I didn't even have to listen to Drake's That's comeback I because I know comeback. That's what I'm saying. Yo, this dude common put out a track called Sweet, and this dude ripped ripped Drake a new one. Do okay. you remember when Common used to have when he first came out and he used to spit hard like that? When he oh, used to man. he used to go at he went at um the West Coast cats. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude is not so you knew that. If you know anything about uh that hip hop in general, you know where certain artists used to be. You know what I'm saying? You know certain artists like all of a sudden if 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 you know I, I really, I'm looking at a cat like Method Man. Me and my wife had this discussion. So Method Man does movies and all like that. So now he's a movie star to a lot of people that wasn't back in the day into hip hop or young people. He's they don't know really what he came from. You know what I'm saying? To Cal and all that. They don't know about that. So it's like it's one of those things that it, it just you forget. And then you go at somebody like Common and it's like, why? His name alone is common sense. So what does that mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Alone, that puts fear in an MC's heart. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. And that's it. But we can never tell the general public that Drake lost. Ah, man. Because the general public... Drake makes more money, according to people. Drake well, look, is look, Drake always on the is radio. More, 
Exactly. Drake is more in the public eye than yes. Common is. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, to the common listener, they don't, you know, they may have heard of Common, but they mm. don't really know. They don't really know anything about what he's done in the past. The fact that he's a vet, yada yada yada. They just know that Drake is selling albums, and you know he's on the radio twenty four seven. That's all they know. Not to discredit Drake, because Drake, look, you know. I've heard a couple of tracks from him. You know, they're good tracks. He's a talented guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. But still, you know, you 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 can't come at you can't disrespect the people that came before you that did it better than you did, honestly. <laughs> Yo, that's just what it is. I mean, it's is is again, it, we have that in everything, you know what I'm saying? Really, I don't see it that much in movies, but we do have it a little. I've seen a little bit of stuff, but we have it when it comes to uh uh hip hop. And and in music and even sports, we got that. We got you not really remembering how how you know how nasty a a, a dude like Jerry Rice was. Like you don't remember that if you wasn't in the football that time, or you just wasn't born then. You don't know about that. Is it? I mean, I'm I'm guilty of that too with a lot of things. I'm really I'm guilty of that. I I know about, of course, Eric B, Rock Kim, and all like that. I know about them through my you know my my brothers, sisters, and all them. I, I know about that, but my point is I wasn't there to really know about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can learn about it, listen to it later, but to me, the effect that it has when I remember when Jay-Z was de- was down with Big Daddy Kane and nobody knew who he was, that is something to me. I'm like, wow. But everybody, you ask everybody about Jay-Z now, all they know, maybe they take it back to like – um. What's it called? When he did the track with Foxy Brown and all that. Like, when you first started hearing him, mainstream, mainstream. You know what I'm saying? Then the Nas beef. That's as far back as they could go. But we talking about 86, 87. The young Jay-Z when he had nothing but forehead and lips and nothing <laughs> else and was light-skinned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yo, that's the way it is. We going to change that. No doubt. We all for it. And that's what's up. And by the way, we're going to have some uh, artist contests coming up. Uh, we won't reveal exactly what's going to go down yet, but stay tuned to FuegoBeast.com and all our social media, Fuego Beast Radio, uh, on Twitter, Facebook. Um, definitely uh, hit Egypt up, you know what I'm saying, on his uh, social media, uh, his email address, all of that. And uh, definitely stay tuned because we'll, we will have some stuff com- coming up. And uh, all of you guys, you artists, and um, even for the, just the listeners, we're going to have some things. Yeah, real quick, that uh, that contact info is Big Egypt at MSN.com or Egypt at FuegoBeast.com. So hit me up. Let me know what's good. Or Sniffy at Sniffles.com. Man, hey, look, Fuego. <laughs> look, it's cold outside, all right? I got the Sniffles. <laughs> That's what's up. But, yo, what we're going to do is go uh, to some more music. And when we come back, we're going to be on the line with pop artist Ricky J. You're listening to What the Fuego? On Fuego Beast Radio.
order to the Mayans Get a grip, you can't contain me Yeah, yeah, this is Rubar And you are listening to Fuego Beach Radio The number one online radio station for merging artists What up, what up? That's your host, Fuego And I'm on the line right now with uh, Egypt And uh, we're on the line with Ricky J Yo, yo What's good with you, man? Man, everything's good, bro. Just, you know, another day, another dollar. I feel you. I feel you, man. So, uh, yo, we've been hearing your music and everything, so we definitely wanted to um, get you on the show to discuss a little bit of things uh, about uh, where you're from. Tell everybody where you're from. I appreciate that, man. Uh, I am from North Carolina, man. I couldn't really tell you a city. I've just been traveling all over the state, <laughs> No, I, I feel you, man. That's that's great, right there. I mean, at least you get you get home base set up and everything. Make sure you got your uh, your local. You got to keep uh, keep your hometown happy. You know what I'm saying? And make sure they behind you. So oh yeah, I, I appreciate that for sure. But uh, basically, um, I checked out your your info. I I really like the video. I like the way it was set up and everything. So um, Mike, one question I did have, man, is uh, what kind of got you started with all of this you know music stuff like writing i mean were you, or were you just a child you know uh doing this or did you just start it a couple of years ago or what man i i've been doing this all like all my life you know maybe not on a professional level all my life but yeah. music's just been a big passion of mine i grew up with a grandpa who um you know, in the state of Pennsylvania, his rock band uh, back in the 60s and 70s was really well known. And so okay. he was just really musically inclined. And so I grew up seeing him doing stuff. And I just I always had a passion for singing and dancing and doing all all that. Um, but I would probably say my first encounter, which really gave me that that natural high on stage was when I was able to perform uh, as long as you love me by the Backstreet Boys at my sister's dance recital. I was like in fourth grade. So I was like, man, this is amazing. So I just, you know, been been working hard ever since then. Oh, okay. That's good. That's really good right there. Um, Egypt, you can hop in at any point. Yeah. So I, I wanted to know how long have you been, you know, you said you mentioned that you, you did a performance back in fourth grade, uh, but as far as I, I looked at your 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 web presence, and I know that you have a pretty decent following. So my question is, you is how long have you been pursuing what you're pursuing to the extent that you are right now? Like as far as being serious and being as focused as you are right now. I was. This has been going on ever since like midway high school, my sophomore year. Uh, you know, I was picked up by. Uh, uh, independent record label in Orlando, Florida, back at, around that time, they were called Caliber Records. And our the boy band I was actually supposed to be with um, was called United Games that were this. We were on the verge of getting signed to Epic. Andrea Martin was our vocal coach who helped out with some of Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston stuff back in the day. And we had uh, Glenn Douglas Pack, a choreographer, and uh, just a lot of great things. Aaron Carter and his sister came and chilled in the studio. Okay. Um, it was it was just really really good experience. A uh, big learning tool. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. We ended up getting shelved before we ever launched our first album. Uh, but just all of that, just knowing that I was just that close, just made me want it even more. And so since I, you know after all that faded. I started on my solo career. I was writing nonstop. I was recording as much as I could. I was getting my hands on everything that I could. And just ever since then, it's just been a growing process to be able to uh, cut my own project. A bit more about the studio so that I could engineer and produce some of my own material. And getting networked is a key, key point. Just, I mean, if you ain't networked, you, you really can't go anywhere. So that was, that's been my biggest focus is just trying to network as much as I can. And the internet is so easy. It's just a couple of clicks away and you could pretty much talk to anybody you want. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's real good right there. I mean, you got to use the uh, online as a source. Um, uh, so <laughs> this is a great where, source. Where do you, where do you get your inspiration from? Well, I don't, I don't want to sound cliche or anything, but like I, I'd say life pretty much, you know, uh, there's so much that goes on in a day-to-day -day process. You can pretty much write about anything. And, and so whenever I hear a beat, I don't know if everybody's this way, but when I write a song, I got to hear the beat first. I can't just write 
words and then come up with a melody and then hit the producer up and all that stuff. It, I, if I hear a beat that really, really moves me, it doesn't take me very long to find a melody. And then I just keep listening to it and figuring out how it really makes me feel. And then I just go from there. And, you know, most of my songs are either about love or about heartbreak. But sometimes mm -hmm. there is life events that are outside of the relationship factor uh, that really hits home with a lot of people. And so I, pretty much I just say I write about life. That's that's good. That's good right there, man. Um, I mean, that's, that was actually my, my next question. So that was that was good that uh, Egypt stepped up and then asked that. Um, and I, I really, like I said, I appreciate the hard work, you know, and I like the fact that you're di um, diverse as far as um, what you know. As far as, I mean, I seen right on the video, I see you got a, a nice keyboard right there. So I'm pretty sure you get to work on that. So do you play instruments? Uh, I fool around with stuff um, here and there. Uh, on, the, on a producer aspect, uh, the internet and just computer software has made it a lot easier for people to be able to make beats or mm -hmm. make certain sounds without really knowing anything. I'm, I'm self-taught in that aspect. I've never had formal training with piano or guitar okay. or drums, um, but my dad was a drummer for a college band, and so I picked up a few um, tricks of, of the trade but from him. You know, I, I can honestly say that I play drums a little bit, but... okay. Okay, that's real good. That's real good. And then as far as uh, you know, your your beats. I mean, um, you you go. You have a couple of sources, or you're just open to like, whatever is hot. You're gonna you're gonna rock, or you know who who do you um. I mean, I don't know if you want to uh, reveal any producers that you work with currently. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. Um, you know, I definitely hop on anything that's hot. Uh, okay. I would definitely say I'm that type of artist. But some people I've been working with of late is. You know, there's a producer. His name's Ray J. That that he's the guy who produced the the Do It track, okay, um, or the beats to the Do It track. And then you know, there's another guy. His name's Young South. I messed with some of his beats. And then okay. uh, there's uh, da Damian Taylor. He's made quite a few of the beats that are going to be coming up on my new EP. I'm going to be launching pretty soon. Um, I've got Downtown Music. Um, they've done some stuff with. Um, a lot of Def Jam artists, um, mm -hmm. and I'm trying. I'm trying to think of some others. Uh, you know, th there's definitely some some that are in the works. You know, yeah. but those are some uh, big uh, key players in the game that I've been working with right now. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Um, Quick question go for you, Ricky. Um, how do you feel about the current state of the industry when it comes to the quality of the music that's that's being put out there. How do you feel personally as an artist? How do you feel about the current state of the industry? You know, that I think is just, it's a really good question, but I think my answer is kind of a double-edged sword. Uh, I would say it's a, it would be a mixed answer. You know, you've got some really talented people out there, not just on a singing level, but as an entertainer, because if you're not a triple threat anymore in this particular industry, you're not going to go very far because they want people who are very versatile and multi-talented so that they can, uh, I guess, get further, you know, reach a larger fan base. But some of the stuff out there is just crap. Um, yeah. And it, it's unfortunate that some of these people are given the shots that they're given and the record deals that they're given when they don't really deserve it. And I'm not speaking for the whole because there's really talented people out there. But mm -hmm. I've seen so many independent artists that are way more talented than some of these mainstream people, but they're just not given the shot for various reasons. You know, I, I don't really know what goes on, but a lot of it's politics, unfortunately. That's just the way the game goes right now. Well, we all know talent is only half the battle, if that. You know, yeah. there's, like you said, there's a lot of talented people out there, but there's much more that you have to do in addition to that talent in order to be successful. Um, but yeah. you, you mentioned there's, there's a lot of garbage out there. Um, <laughs> I don't want to put you on the spot. And if you don't want to answer the question, you know, I, I completely understand, but would you care to elaborate? Like what, or let me, let me backtrack a little bit. You don't have to say what's garbage, but what do you like? What, what are you personally drawn to? Uh, well, I'm drawn to stuff that's really catchy, but something that's not basic. Um, something that doesn't have just 
uh, the melody of like three chords, you know, somebody who can do riffs, somebody who can paint a picture, tell a story. They're just, they're not saying the same words over and over. They're actually helping to inspire people instead of, you know, making them brain dead, I guess is the right words for it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to go to one of your tracks, Ricky, and we're going to come back. All right. All right. <laughs> In the dark for free What up, baby? I turn around with the music loud Go and bend that back for me Bend that back for me It's time for the new generation Baby girl has got me thinking Put those glasses up those glasses And pump the bass up, up. And turn, up. It, turn it, turn it, turn it up This is the way my party rock and beat go You can have it all Listen right now, give it up, lose control From the window all the way to the wild If you're sexy and you know it And you really wanna show it Put those hands in the air, just do it We about to shut it down Rip your city and your tail, drop it low That crazy ghost, stupid and do it To the floor, if you really want more, you can rock this beat all night. Set the roof on fire as we make things hot. We just here for a really good time. Yeah, grind to the top and rock that anthem. Strike a pose and set off my cannon. It's like a birthday party, we about to get it started. So turn it up, up, up now, cranky. Just turn it up. Just turn it up. Lights on, lights on, lights on. You can do it with the lights on, lights on, lights on, lights on. Do it with the lights on. This is the way my party rock and beat go. You can have it all. Listen right now, give it up, lose control. From the window all the way to the wild. If you're sexy and you know it, and you really wanna show it, put those hands. Hello, my name is Anthony Ramirez. I am owner-operator of Ramirez Internet Solutions. Here at Ramirez Internet Solutions, we specialize in creating WordPress websites, aiding companies with their content management, and helping create search engine optimization-friendly material for the web. We also specialize in graphic design, logo design, and print marketing, creating all your graphics and designs for your web and print advertising. So if you are a small business, business startup, or not happy with your current website, let Ramirez Internet Solutions take care of your website for you. 
Even if you have an existing website but don't have the time to manage it, let us manage it for you so you'll be free to do what you need to do and that's run your business. Contact Ramirez NS Solutions today at 571-572-0415. Again, that's 571-572-0415. Or email us at aramirez at ramirezsolutions.com or visit us on the web at www.ramirezsolutions.com. That's www.ramirezsolutions.com. Look forward to hearing from you soon. What up? This is uh, Fuego back uh, on the line with Egypt and Ricky J. Um, What's Rick, good? Yeah. And Ricky's getting up? into a bunch of things. He's uh, really showing us who Ricky J is. And um, one thing he was mentioning that I wanted to talk a little bit about as far as uh, – when people looking for an artist that is um, or what he likes is an artist that's you know kind of well well rounded i guess you could say so in terms of that are are you you know do you think that's what the um i want to say the industry i guess i could say the industry is lacking a little bit is a well well rounded individuals or do you feel like that's you know what um, i mean do you get you get my question or? Yeah, yeah, I, I think I do. I think it um, kind of depends on the genre that that you be referring to, whether they be well rounded or not. Okay. You know, because I I mean there there are definitely tons of well rounded people out there, but you know some some genres are lacking it a little bit more than others. I think. So when you say and when I I guess I can explain it like this, when you're talking about what makes people. Uh, I guess, like you said, less talented individuals shine. When I when I mean um, when I'm saying a, a, a well-rounded, I'm not just talking musically. I'm talking business also. A lot of labels and what I see is they're looking for and and just in general, people like teams. You know what I mean? So you have a team already. All they want to do is sign it over and be like, "Yo, Ricky and his team is ready to go." You know what I mean? It's not saying there's no more of picking. You know, Ricky J out the bunch and being like, we're gonna mold him. But a lot of these, a lot of this stuff is business and not really musically. So they're looking at, well, you know what, is this guy ready to go right now? You know what I mean? We don't really have to do nothing but give them distribution and we're good. Right. You yeah. Know what I'm no, saying? I totally understand what you're saying because uh, yeah, I mean, you're totally right. Yeah. And I think that that is something that is still a mixed answer because mm -hmm. the industry. They definitely don't do artist development anymore. You know, I, I think that's kind of a shame that they don't do that anymore because yeah. I think that uh, there was a lot. I think there was a lot more people at that particular time that lasted a little bit longer in in this particular industry when they had that artist development when they took the time because it's a matter of you know, are you allowing the artist to do his own artist development and risking the fact that maybe he's not teaching himself the right tools or he's not learning everything he's supposed to because he's being self-taught? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, are you risking the chance of losing your money from investing tons of time into this artist and artist development and then them launching and then folding? Uh, I think that's a lot of th something that people think about these days. I think that's why artist development is not there anymore because they want the quick cash they they want to quit trying to invest in people who end up sometimes becoming one hit wonders yeah. but i think that that is really deteriorating uh parts of the industry that were always relevant that were, mm -hmm. you know it was a key ingredients that i think for recipe for success that's no longer there at that point so you're still having a lot of people with success mm -hmm. but it's kind of a gamble more on a personal perspective now than it is for the industry as a whole. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I totally agree <laughs> with that statement right there. I mean, you know, uh really, I mean, you know, you're you're doing it the right way. You know what I mean? Uh you you know, you're a very humble individual and I, I appreciate that always cuz I I mean, we can't come in contact with people that are you know, not so humble sometimes. You know what I mean? And to me that's the way to go. It, it kind of is like a Slap in the face sometimes when, you know, you're trying to help individuals out, but they kind of give you that stuck up way, you know, of being. Yeah. And, I, and I like the fact that you're not like that. You're just like, hey, you know, I'm a real person. 
And that's the yeah. key thing that I think that a lot of your fans, why you have the fans you do is because they see that you're a real person. You're not phony. You know what I mean? I appreciate it, man, because I'm not here to please everybody, just to please those who are most important. And that's that's what it is. That's that's uh, that's what I appreciate, man. Um, and as far as uh, studios, man, how, how how often do you go in the studio lately? You know, now, I mean, do you go try to make it a, a, a weekly thing or you go per project or you just bust out tracks like whatever? And then maybe, you know, later on you put the project actually together. I mean, how, how do you usually go about that? Well, like I said earlier, um, because I f messed around with a, a bunch of different pieces of equipment growing up, I was able okay. to f make myself more familiar with uh, the studio as a whole. Okay. And so with years of being, um, I guess, self-taught in that aspect, I built my own studio. Uh, but on top of that, I do go and travel to other studios also occasionally. It just kind of depends on how far I want to take the song. Because my particular studio I have right now is a home studio. And, you know, it can get you a, a really good quality sound, but it's not going to be like 100% top-notch industry standard. So if I'm trying to record a cover song to uh, build uh, a buzz for myself or, or reach out to new fans, or if I want to, like, put together a song that, you know, might be put thrown into a mixtape, I'll record it in my home studio. But if I'm, like, trying to take it to, like, the ultimate level and push it on a national mm -hmm. or even international level, I go to some of these other top-notch professional studios that I'm, I'm associated with. Kind of like, you know, the song Do It was recorded at one of those professional studios and then later mastered by Soundpure Studios, who done stuff with like clay aiken and yeah. a bunch of other academy award winning artists so okay okay well that that shows me and i'm pretty sure everybody that's listening right now could see that uh you know ricky's real real focus <laughs> focus on what he needs to do um has a good understanding about the industry itself and i i think that's all positives you know with with um as far as what you need in, in this game um Egypt, like I said, you can hop in whenever. I'm not, fun. man. This guy covered all bases, man. Um, <laughs> quick question, though, actually, uh, since Fuego uh, asked, um, how did you get into those circles, man, when, you, when you're talking about top-notch uh, studios, top-notch engineers? Um, how did you get acquainted with those people? How did you get your foot in the door when it comes to that aspect of your career? Uh, it's It's all been networking, really, like... Mm -hmm. Because because people have to have a knowledge of all these different aspects of the industry, these people in their, their respective elements have tons of their own connects. You know, so when you build a personal relationship with, with these people in their respective elements and they see how your, your, um, your work ethic and also maybe your friendship that you've built with them, they, they tend to trust you a little bit more with their friends per se. And so they'll refer you and, you know, it kind of just all builds from there. For example, uh, you know, building a friendship with some of these producers that do beats for me um, have connects in other areas, maybe with uh, photographers for photo shoots or videographers, such as what happened with me meeting Devin Johnson, who did my music video for uh, Do It. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, another uh, producer also, his cousin was the one who owned one of these professional studios. And, uh, you know, it, it just all goes from there. I mean, you you need things like this. You need videographers, photographers, producers, engineers, um, booking agents, managers, record label executives. You need all these different things in order to be successful. So it's really just tapping into the networking pool and just pulling this out of people, you know, not in a... I'm not saying pulling out like, hey, gimme, 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 but, you know, being able to really utilize everything that's presented to you to the fullest. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, like like I said to everybody, man, you're listening to a guy that knows his stuff. Um, a lot of people could learn from this conversation right here. So I'm glad that uh, you tapped into that. And, um, you know, you're giving, uh, you know, people that maybe they have, they're like, you know, thinking about getting into the industry they have a you know sort of a um passion for it but they just like okay i don't know what to do and i feel like that's good to hear from one of their peers on what you're doing and they can kind of take that blueprint 
and go about it, you know, a similar way. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah. versus, you know, it's always easy that way. You know, what I mean, I always tell people when you learn from somebody who has been there, you know, done that, it's a lot easier than just going from ground zero and, you know, doing that. A lot of the mistakes that you would have made, you won't because this person's here like, hey, you know, this I mean, this might be the best way to go. So let's go this path versus going this path, hitting the brick wall, you know, and then figuring out, OK, now I got to go down this path. You could just, you know, follow it a little bit better. You know, I'm not saying they got to follow exactly 100 percent the way you did it, but at least you can give them a blueprint. Right. No, I totally understand. And I mean, I, you know, I don't know everything. I'm still growing and learning as an artist as well. But I, if there was any little bit of advice I could ever give anybody, it would be to never stop grinding and to always, always use the social media networks to, uh, you know, to the extreme. You know, you got to just hammer that nail and beat that over and over yep. as much yep. as you can because you can never, never reach everybody out there in the world. There's always somebody who could possibly be a fan that you really need to invest your time in because time is money. That's that's what it is. And uh, with that, we're going to go to another one of uh, Ricky's tra tracks and come back. And uh, you're listening to the What the Fuego Artist Highlight Show. All right. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Shorty, I've been around the world with all types of girls. And now I know the game that you're trying to play. You hit me where it hurts Your body, I'm focused You move like the ocean Your waves, I'm riding Ooh, so exciting Let's splash You down, go too deep I might drown I'm on you now You don't care Getting close, get my heart a tear I'm warming up, can't take no more You holding back, I'm wanting more Make a move, watch me flow Been around the world, these games so old These games so old And you so cold, you'll change your mind Once I get you Around the world, all over, with all types of girls. You know, and now I know the game that you're trying to play. Girl, you're such a tease. Well, it make the mood so freaky. Yo, 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 yo. Your body is so sexy. So Girl, you turn me bad, on. Bad. I wanna take you home, get it. my little heart blurred. You a flirt, you a tease, I got what you need, put it on me, you do When we done, you threw, had my heart from the start Like a bomb, you blew it apart, I'm a man with emotions You just broke them, how cold are you, what the f*** you been smoking? So many girls around the sun, when it comes to you, you my only one You a love, it's ecstasy, you mean the world to me I'm over here, you over there, the saddest thing no love in the air, I share my soul, I paid the cost, now I'm on top, baby, show your love. around the world, all over, with all types of girls, you know, and now I know the game, that you're trying to play, girl, you're such a tease, you make the mood so freaky, Your body is so sexy. Girl, you turn me on. I wanna take you home. My little heart. Blood. You a love is ecstasy. You mean the world to me. You a love is ecstasy. You mean the world to me. You a love is ecstasy. You mean the world to me. You a love is ecstasy. 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 You a love. If you is wanna ecstasy. turn it out, better let it show. Kissing on my neck, baby, let it go I'll give you all my time I'm here to make you mine, girl Let's get rewind You're my little heart flirt Ha 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 
Check it out. What's going on? Uh, you're listening to What the Fuego Artist Highlight Show. And um, this is Fuego, and I'm on the line with uh, Egypt. And good. our artist of the week is Ricky J. What up? <laughs> Yo, we had we I mean we've been having a crazy conversation gi- giving you insight on Ricky J, giving you some um he's giving some pointers without knowing he's giving pointers. <laughs> but but it's good I mean it's good information. We're learning a lot. I mean, we see where this guy's focus is and it's just crazy. But my biggest question and I was trying to hold off from this all conversation, but yo, I want to know about the video. Cuz I I really like how that was put together. So First, the location. Was it down in North Carolina or what? Yeah, it was uh, actually over in Elizabeth City. And the reason we did it there is actually, uh, see, I'm a, I'm a student at Elizabeth City State University, but oh, okay. I'm also an athlete there, too. I'm a, a punter for the football team there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, and so me being at school there um, in an HBU setting, or HBCU, sorry, Historical Black College. Exactly. Um, feel their homecomings are off the chain. There's no other word for it. It's just like yeah. real. And um, yeah. it brings a lot of publicity, a lot of supporters, just a lot of hype in, overall. And so wild thing was, was Devin Johnson, who does this tremendous videography. Um, mm-hmm. I was referred to him by a mutual friend who's also a fellow artist, but come to find out Elizabeth State Elizabeth City State University had asked him to come to the homecoming on campus and do some video work for homecoming. And I was like, oh, wow, that's awesome, dude. And so knowing he was already going to be over in my side of the state, I was just like, whoa, you know, I've been trying to get a music video done for my new single for a long time. So maybe if we could do this around the same time that you're already going to be here, you could knock two birds out with one stone. And he's like, yeah, I really like how that's sounding. So just a lot of things fell into place pretty perfectly um you know we were able to get some of the locations because a friend of mine uh, his name's brian o'brien he's a, a program director for nine block over in elizabeth city and uh he had some friends um who were club owners so i think being able to get connected with that because obviously uh, local. so we were able to you know also we use some backdrops with the black and the white and then um, you know, we used a random parking lot for the outside scenes with the fireworks and, uh, okay. De- Devin Johnson actually, uh, dipped down into South Carolina over the border and bought for me. And then, uh, you know, he, he towed them on over because you can't buy fireworks like that. Just, you know, just, uh, on a everyday basis here in North Carolina. So we were able to get all that done. I, I had some hired models, you know, I put some, campaigns on facebook asking people if anyone was interested in being in a music video i had some, a few takers um you know thankfully these were professional models and uh yeah. you know yeah. we we discuss business and we do what it, we do what we do you know that's that's what's up man i, I really like it you can actually check out the ricky j uh, exclusive video if you go on uh fuegobeats.com is our feature video of the week and um I, like i said i like the way it was it was put together I really did. Um, you know, I think it looked very professional. You know what I mean? And, and I, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed it. Um, so I wanted to get in also like performances. You know, uh, have you been around the country or just the East Coast or, or what? Uh, it's just been the East Coast right now. It'll be a blessing when that time comes where I do get to go all over the uh, the United States with my music, man. Okay. Okay. Good question, cool. man. Have you performed at the, the the school that you attend? Yes, actually, I, I did. I opened up for J. Cole in concert for, um, you know, their uh, 2011 homecoming when he came on his college tour. So that was a real exciting time. That oh, That's pretty cool, man. When did that go down? Uh, I went down the, the fall of 2011. It was my first semester that I was there. And, um, you know, he, he came in. uh along with Travis Porter and um, oh, okay. they just, they rocked the stage, man. It was, it was an awesome night. So I was really, really appreciative to be given that opportunity. No, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's real good. I mean, it's always, uh, and, and um, good, you know, and I always uh, tell people to get into the college scene, you know, that's, that's the perfect, especially for your music. 
that's the perfect uh demographic for you you know what i mean like perfect that's like right on target so i'm glad you did that and um hopefully we'll we'll see you up our way man gmu uh see you at odu down in hampton roads all of that too oh yeah uh so you know well we're definitely i'm looking for that um I do have a, a question. I haven't asked artists in a while this, but it was basically what is a, a I guess, a, a skill or or some kind of cool thing you do that not too many people know about? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if I could say that they don't know about it. I'm kind of an open book. You know, okay. I just kind of do whatever. Um, but. I love the beatbox. You know, I, I do that in a couple of my performances here and there, but yeah, man, beatboxing is definitely a great pastime, especially when you're bored, man. You ain't got nothing to do. Instead of beating on a desk and being like really annoying sounding to others, you know, you're all in your zone. You're just tapping on the desk and stuff. And man, it sounds like super hot to you, but other people are like, shut up, you know, stop. <laughs> uh, but like, you know, beatboxing, I guess, doesn't give off that that same feeling because not everybody can be box or be box well i guess you'd say so i love doing that man that is cool man that is definitely cool and uh basically um, if any oh i'm sorry go ahead what do you what do you study in school man um right now i'm studying uh, mass communications um with a concentration in broadcasting so okay. i think that's also being able to learn about marketing and like social media and also just broadcasting in general being educated in that has helped me with my particular mm -hmm. um, uh, efforts with my career just because like with that type of education it helps me to be more independent on a business level you know so you know I for a lot of my life I had the interest and the focus with the music, but because I'm being able to be educated more on the business side of things, has made me more well-rounded. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's good. I mean, that's good. That and, and that's a good thing that um again, if anybody's listening, you uh, any anybody that's uh, you know about to graduate uh, high school or that's unsure what they want to do, you know, sometimes you might the, the obvious right there. If you say, "Hey, I'm a," uh, you know, I, I love to you know play music, then maybe you should focus on that. You know, it, it's very crazy how some people you know you go to college, pay all this money sometimes, and you're just getting a getting a degree just to get a job and you're unhappy yeah so you're, you're gonna be happy with that i mean that's a good look to um do that and i mean i, I appreciate that too because i mean you're learning uh, a lot and it's uh, like i said you got to have come with a double-edged sword you know what i mean oh yeah you just come with that um i i definitely feel you know success is definitely in your future um and i, I hope to have you on the show more uh, you know, even even if you come just to drop by a couple of minutes, uh, let us know what you're doing, what projects you got working on and all that. Um, so right now, I mean, I just uh, want to give you a chance, you know, if you want to shout anybody out, give if artists want to collab with you or people just want to hit you up, just say, hey, I love you. <laughs> How to do that. All right. Cool, man. Um, well, you know, if you find me on one uh, a website, you'll probably find me on all of them. I got them pretty much linked together. But, you know, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. My Twitter name is at R-I-C-K-E-Y-J-A-R-M-A-N. And, uh, you know, I'm on YouTube. My, my page is Rick Singer 124 um, You know, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, you can always email me if you need a drop or... You know, you want to collab or something. I'm always down to do collabs, man, because, you know, there's way too many talented people out there to just be, you know, turning people down and stuff. But, you know, to give a few people shout outs, you know, I want to thank God for not only this opportunity, but every opportunity he gives me as an artist to be able to promote my talents. Um, another thing, you know, J John Jonathan Goldstein and uh, Windfall Management, just want to thank them for all that they do uh, with uh, parts of my career. I want to give a shout out to Wave Nation and uh, those boys, you know, that that right there is uh, a group of really hardworking artists that definitely need to be saluted. Um, Edwin Mitchell, he's a producer here in North Carolina, uh, been a help um, and somewhat of a mentor uh, with different things. David Linton, another mentor, he actually was a past vice president of um, 
Capitol Records, and he's definitely been able to give me great advice growing up. Brian O'Brien, program director, he was one of the first ones to be able to believe in my music enough to put it in regular rotation on the radio. You know, Tyler Resnick, Chola Marshall, April Austin, Devin Johnson for doing the music video, Chelsea Harris, along with the rest of the street team, and you know my fans. I never ever would be anything that I am today without my fans and my family. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. And like I said, man, we appreciate everything, and we will have you on the show um, again. Uh, give us, giving us updates on where your projects are, and you gotta definitely keep in touch with us. Oh, no doubt, man. Okay, and I, I definitely want to give a shout out to Prophet actually for hooking this up because uh, he actually yeah. got in touch with Ricky at first and uh, made the connection, and we're here right now. No doubt, man. I definitely want to give a big thank you to you guys. You know, just giving me this opportunity, man. All of y'all. It's just, it's been an awesome, awesome yeah. experience. Man, just keep doing what you do, man, and we got you for sure. Oh, no doubt. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to wrap this edition of the What the Fuego Artist Highlight Show, and we're going to go into the last Ricky J track, and we're going to highlight y'all next week. Long trips on ships, we cruise the main attraction. Anything I do for you, remain true. My one and only female homie, main boo. Yeah. Us two can make it in full and we stay patient. Time we just take it, each problem we face it. Uh -huh. Hit some money, I'm gonna take you on a trip, so get your nails done, hair done, everything there. Let's go. Grab a string and lay some wine. I'm about to take it to the other side of life.